Okay, so here we are back again. Uh, I just climbed up that cliff over there. There's nothing much that you're missing. We could have gone this way, but I don't know. Uh, anyways, there's been some rock stacking dude here. And it looks like we have to go all the way back to our tower in order to go back down south to where the Ruby River is. And meet the Boy Scouts or something of the forest. Uh, as oh, it's just... just it's just the soundtrack, guys. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit jumpy from previous episode, so forgive me if I am, um, you know, overreacting and whatnot. It's just gonna be a long hike back up there. Probably, it's got, probably gonna be, you know, a bit of editing from here on out. I'm not sure if, if there's gonna be dialogues between Henry and Delilah. I am gonna include those in, don't you guys worry. Some really nice cliffs here. We have been here in the previous episodes. So this place is kind of familiar to me. I'm not too worried about this place. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops? Anything strange with you? Yeah, this it sounds like Delilah of all her ten years working here, there's nothing that happened to her. Has anything strange been happening on your end? Nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. What? That doesn't sound like nothing. Yeah. It's nothing, I promise. Alright, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. About my radio. What about I, it? Well, you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Um... Oh god, how do I leave this? God! No! Hello? No, I want to reply! Whatever it is, just try to keep oh, your head on straight, Henry. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Please. Why can't I reply while I'm unlocking that? Okay, the cave just got really, really creepy. What the fuck? The cave wasn't like that before. I... Has it always been this creepy? Like, like purple glow and all that? Dude, if something jumps out from this, I don't know what to say. This is really creepy, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, let's let's try and not go through there again. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't Should like I... feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. Why not? I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. <laughs> Girl, imagine how scared I was back there. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, I have a very crazy theory in my head right now how the story is going to play out, right? Guys, uh, I'm just going to call it right now that Delilah is setting up, you know, like some sort of a prank to scare us. It's like a long-going <laughs> prank that she's, you know, she's plotting with all these scouts, as they would call it. She might not even be, you know... A, a fire watcher for all I know, you know. She might be just a prankster out in the woods. She she got a hold of, you know, the real fire watchers radio. I don't know. She she might just be pulling everything out. The June fire? Well, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, oh, it's too long. That's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. 
was that 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 tree okay uh now where am I supposed to go let's see no I'm not going up there I'm going near I'm going down I'm supposed to go north apparently yeah I'm supposed to go north You know, like I said, I'm sticking to my Delilah is pulling a prank on us, you know, the new guy in the lookout tower theory. I'm just gonna go with that for now. That, you know, she says she's been working here for 10, for 10 years, you know, that's what I've learned. And, you know, there's something fishy going on, you know, remember how she was talking to someone behind our back? I don't know if she did that on a purpose, just to give us the creeps or not. <laughs> I don't know, but it's, it sounds really weird. Like, is Chelsea and Lily part of the prank as well? I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got okay. It. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Just someone. Hey, there's something there. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Okay, we can't reply to that, but... There's some old snowmobiles out here. What is a snowmobile doing out here? That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Oh my god. Is the engine parts missing? Oh, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. And that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, sorry about that, guys. The game has been tanking my FPS for no goddamn reason. We have reached our destination, however. Uh, this is Cam... Apaharo? I don't know if Camp it's... Arapaho. Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. What's a weebelo? The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Is that, is that the high ground he's talking about? The high ground here? Wow, it's a long stretch for me. It's gotta be said. Can we jump here? I guess not. Um, can't go down. Just way up going down. Um, seems to be a dead end here. All right. Um, can't go this way. We can jump across here. This is nice. Okay. Oh, look, there's a totem pole. It's really worn out. Like, what the hell's going on here? So, are we near the camp already? Oh. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Well, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. 
Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. God. It wasn't scout material, huh? I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeblow or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. How old is he? a clove hitch? Ah. Uh, well, it's not that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Hmm. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblow do it. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblows. Tarps. For the past 35 years, yeah. Okay, it's a bad trap here. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Okay, so now there's a tarp here. How is this tarp still, you know... How are people yeah, still living here? Yeah, these guys are here? gone. I found it's where they were weird. sitting around before getting picked hey, up. Hey, one of Damn. these clipboards again. Oh, there's a troll. What is this? A troll? I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Uh. Wow. Um, I'd, I'm ninety nine percent sure that's for burying poop. Yeah, I don't think that's what I it's am going to leave it here. No, I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to bring it back home with me. No, guess not. Ew! This little, you know, stain of poop there. Ugh. Okay, let's. We can't keep that. We can't pick that up. We can't keep this as well. This is brand new, dude. Look at how clean that is. I throw it on the ground and it's still clean, it's not gathering any dirt or whatever. It's a memo here. Hmm. Hey D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Hmm? Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Something... us? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about... Studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. We've just been I working here for a long for time. I that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. But... Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. No, the thing is, if they are out there, you know, making a research on how people converse in isolation... Guess what? What you got? I found an axe back near that camp. A uh, firefighter left it? Probably, yeah. It's got, like, a funny little point. Sure yeah. Does. Okay, that's called a Pulaski. It's standard issue. Whatever. This Pulaski I found means I can start clearing these trails. Okay, we can be a lumberjack. <clears throat> this tree is just, you know, conveniently <clears throat> half chopped. So we can just finish the job, make ourselves uh, a makeshift bridge across the ravine. Is there anything else here? I don't think so. I don't think there's any cash right here. Mm, no, it's just a dead end. Right, now, there's a new mystery going on. Pop over. Okay. Okay, that was easy. Uh, the new theory, not not a re new theory, that's not something I believe what Delilah would, would have come up with. What, what? Hey there. Yeah? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Did I? Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Park Pond. Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, no definitely Why not. Why would you say that? Oh my god. Right. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. What the f Did you just cough? 
Huh? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. Dude! Dude! Um, Don't scare me like that. Any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Dude, this well, what is What about when I heard you talking so. to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Okay. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Holy don't shit. leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? Oh god. I will call you. Oh god, day 77? Uh... Oh god, this is getting tense. I'm getting a lot of goosebumps out of this. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that episode here. If I am, I'm gonna cut it. If not, I'll see you all next time.